Okay, guys. This is August the 19th, 2022. And it looks like it's about to cloud up and rain. Um, but I've been outside today. I'm trying to spend some time in nature. Um, I have... I got I to gotta tell y'all, I have really been missing in action for the last couple of weeks. I have, I know I hadn't been, I know I hadn't been online much. I hadn't been, I hadn't been saying, having much to say, but the reason is because the battle is heating up, folks. The battle between me and the devil has been heating up. It has really, really been intense, okay? The devil's really been coming at me, and y'all know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going to go into detail about it. But things have been heating up lately. But the good news is, I'm okay. The good news is, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting bolder. I'm getting more confident. This battle that I've been in for so long, is making me stronger, okay? If I could just stay on my horse, okay? I can't stay on my horse. I keep falling off my horse. And what I mean by that is every time I fall off, every time I get defeated, and I'm bad about this, okay? I'm bad, especially when I'm in the midst of the battle, when I'm in the midst of the torment, when I'm in the midst of the suffering, and when the bullets are hitting me in the head, and the frequencies are hitting me, and the and the uh, chemicals are hitting me, and I'm 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 struggling, and I'm I'm suffering, and I'm 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 trying to breathe, and I'm I'm trying to get my head above water, and I can't. That's when I fall off my horse. I get drugged through the mud again, and I feel like. You know, I'm just, I just feel defeated. You know, I just, there's, I just can't tell you all the times in this battle when I just felt literally, completely exhausted, defeat, and completely defeated. Like I can't go on anymore. But every time I fall off my horse, Jesus always comes and picks me up and dusts me off and put me back on the horse. And last night, I fell off last night. I got drugged through the mud. I got drugged through the mud and the miry clay. I got put through the fire. I mean, I was sweating. I was dripping sweat. I was dripping blood. I mean, I was, I was so, I was so defeated. And I, I mean, my clothes were torn and and ragged and hanging off of me. And you could tell. It was obvious that I'd been through a struggle. That I'd been through the battle. I'd been through a battle. And when Jesus come, when he came, and I fell off my horse, and he came back, and I looked at him, I said, I can't do this no more, Lord. I can't do it no more. Please make it stop. I can't do this no more. I said, my head hurts. My ears are, my ears are pounding. My back hurts. My chest hurts. I can't breathe. My legs feel like I'm carrying around bricks. My feet are swollen, my feet are throbbing. I mean, I'm, I'm mentally and physically and emotionally drained and exhausted. I said, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't think straight. Heck, I can barely even slide my body off the bed in the mornings. I'm so defeated. And Jesus looked me in the eye and said, I know, but you're gonna be okay. So he picks me up, puts me back on my horse, and he says, let's go, let's go. And it's, every time it's the same thing. He puts me back on my horse and he says, let's go. You're doing a good job. You're going to be okay. Let's go. So I get back on my horse. I take a deep breath. I start tightening my legs so I can, I can get ready to hit the belly of the horse and make it go. And I go back into battle with Jesus. And I look... It, and tears, you know, streaming down my face. And I'm so emotionally sick, so emotionally drained. And I look, but I look around me. But last night, I, 
you know, and I've always known that there were other people in this battle. I've always known that I wasn't in this alone. But last night, I looked around me, and I had a vision. I looked around me, and I could see. I could see the other people out there on their horses all around me. And I could see them fighting, and I could see them bleeding, and I could see them struggling, and I could see their clothes hanging off of them, and I could see them in excruciating pain, and I can see their, I see their tears fall from their eyes and hit the ground, and they, they look at me, and I look at them, and we, like there's a recognition, like we know, we know. They look at you and they go, I know, I know, but we're going to be okay because Jesus is with us. We got Jesus in front of us. Jesus goes before us. He's at the head. He's at the realm. And we're behind him and we're fighting this battle with Jesus. It's so hard. And I can't tell you the times that I just said, Lord, I just I can't do I just can't do this. And I'm I'm the worst one to complain because it, it, and you think by now I'd be used to it because it's been going on for so long. This about, you know, and I always say, well, mine started in 2020, but it didn't start in 2020. It didn't start in 2020. 2020 is just when it got escalated. It started back in 1999 when I got stricken with Morgellons disease. That's when my battle started, okay? That's when my battle started. In 2020, it got escalated to a whole new level. A whole new level, a whole new war, a whole new battle. I mean, it changed. Uh, it changed in um, in severity. It got worse. Okay, and it's been heating up lately. But I can't tell you the time when I said, "Lord, why can't you just stop it? You have the power to just stop it." You know, I can't take it anymore. I can't go on anymore. And Jesus. Looked me in the eye and said, no, you have to stop it. You're the only one that can stop it. And I thought, well, I can't, Jesus. Look at me. I don't have the power to stop it. He, he said, oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I said, but, he said, you don't realize it, but you've been, do you've been doing it. You've been defeating the devil for all this time, and you can't even see it. Look behind you and look what you've already been through. And look how you've already defeated the devil on every level. You've defeated the devil on every level and now you're saying you can't defeat him on this one? Yes, you can. Everything you have been through has prepared you for this final stage in the battle. And so, once again, I'm like, okay, I can do this. And then when, when, then I heard him say, this is what I heard him say, okay. When enough power, enough of your inner power has been activated within you, you will stop it. And I was just frozen when I heard that. When enough of your inner God power has been activated within you, you will stop it. You will stop it for yourself. And boy, when I heard that, that just increased my strength. I just got bolder and bolder and bolder. And, I, and then I could hear the voice of Jesus saying, you've got everything you need. You've got your helmet of salvation on. You've got your breastplate of righteousness on. You've got your loins girded with a belt of truth. You've got your feet shod with the gospel of peace. You've got the shield of faith, and you've got the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the living God, the powerful word of the living God. You've got the whole armor of God. You've got it on, and you've had it on. And you're just now learning how to use it. Boy. Oh, boy. I have learned so much, folks. For all of you out there who are going through this battle, and I know there's a lot of people, everybody actually is going through their own battle. Everybody's going through some kind of battle. Might not be the same battle I'm going through, but everybody's going through a battle. 
but I can tell you without a doubt, not a not even one iota of a doubt that there is a very significant purpose to your suffering. There is a purpose. And Jesus said, you have to persevere. It is through your struggles. It is through your struggles and your suffering that God is awakened within you. That is how you awaken the power of God within you. And that's how you take hold of it, is through your struggles and your suffering. If you wasn't going through this battle, you would still be in the same place you was 30 years ago. Still, poor little old helpless me. It has to have all of these things out here to survive. Okay. Now I'm at a place to where I pretty much lost everything. I don't really have anything that I used to have. I'm living on the basics. But inside I know that I have everything. I have everything because the power of God is growing within me. I can feel it. I can feel the power of God increasing within me. I can feel the energy increasing within me. I can feel the boldness rising up within me. I can feel the confidence rising up within me. Folks, I'm telling you, I have reached a new threshold. I have come to a new level within my spiritual journey. And in this message, what I want to say to everybody out there who's suffering, everybody who has more gallons, everybody who's being targeted with these energy weapons, everybody who's being uh, harassed, everybody who's being gang stalked, everybody who has cancer, everybody who has diabetes, everybody who has brain aneurysms, everybody who has strokes. It doesn't, whatever you have, whatever you have, whatever your struggle is right now at this moment, and no matter how bad your suffering is, there is a divine purpose for what you are going through. It, this is intended to turn you and point you towards the God within you. That is its sole purpose, folks. That's it. And until you turn within yourself and find God within you, your suffering is going to continue because this is what it's for. Okay, for those people who are suffering and are still looking for the answers out there in the external world, for those who are looking for answers from the powers that be, and for those who are waiting on the government or the powers that be to come and rescue you, you've got a long wait because it's not going to happen. Jesus has shown me you have to save yourself. Nobody's coming to rescue you. Forget about all this stuff you hear on the internet about the white hats and how they're going to rescue you or how the Galactic Federation is going to rescue you. You have to rescue yourself. And it all starts within you. Activating, taking hold, connecting and activating the God powers within you. Okay, And the truth is you're not going to do that on your own. You're not going to do that unless you go through some struggles. You're not going to do that unless you go through some suffering. So, the message for today is know, folks, that whatever it is you're going through, know that there's a divine purpose for it. And if you go within yourself and you find God within you, I can promise you God will come to your rescue and you will survive this. You will make it through. But only if you turn to God, the God within you, if you keep looking for the answers out there in the world, chances are you're not going to survive it. You've got to turn inward. So the message today, stay on your horse. Get back on your, you're going to fall off of your horse. You're going to have times when you're going to get knocked off. You're going to get put through the mud. You're going to get put through the ringer. You're going to, you're going to be bleeding. You're going to be sweating. 
You're going to be having all of the life force energy drained completely out of your body. You're going to be totally exhausted. You're going to be totally defeated over and over and over every day of your life. You're going to go through this defeat over and over and over. But it's going to make you stronger because it's going to humble you. It's going to soften your heart. It's going to turn you, point you back to God within you. And it's going to show you the way. So, that's it, folks. Just get back on your horse and run to the battle. Run to the battle. Every time I hear that, I think about David and Goliath because it talks about in Ephesians when David, when David was talking to Goliath, and he told Goliath, he said, you come against me with a sword and the shield and the spear, but I come against you with the power of the living God, with the power of the God of Israel, whom thou hast defileth. That's what I've been saying. That's exactly what I've been saying. And David, they said when David saw Goliath coming at him, they said he got up and ran to the battle. Why was he able? Why was David able to get up and run to the battle? Because he already knew that he won. And I'm getting emotional because the truth of all this is coming up within me. But David knew. He knew before he before he stood behind, before Goliath. Before he even saw Goliath coming, he knew that he had already won this battle because he had the power of God working within him. Goliath had the spear, the sword, and the shield, but David had the power of God. And David knew that he had already won this battle. And that's where we got to be, folks. That's where we got to be. We got to put on the whole armor of God and we got to go forth with boldness and confidence and strength. And we got to persevere. We got to push through. We got to push through the strongholds. Even when the enemy, the attacks against the enemy gets in, in, start to increase and gets more intense, you got, you got to push harder. You got to persevere. You got to push through the strongholds. And you're going to see when you come out the other side, you're going to see. You're going to realize, you're going to wake up and you're going to say, I feel stronger. I feel bolder. I feel more confident. I feel the power of God moving within me. And I know I got this. Me and Jesus have got this. So, I go forth with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness, with my loins girded with the belt of truth, with my feet child, with the gospel of peace, with my shield of faith, and with my sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, the powerful Word of God. And I intend to make it through this battle. God's told me I've already won it. I've already won it. So, that's all, folks. Go forth with boldness. Go forth with power. And persevere and push through. And you're going to make. That's all.